here. Oh, welcome to, or oh, welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard, and today I'm coming to you from the Celebrity Summit. This is one of the oldest ships in Celebrity's fleet, and full disclosure, I am on here as a guest of the casino. I paid $238 in taxes and port fees for an inside cabin on this ship. Uh, did not pay any additional cruise fare. That's what you're seeing. Now, you might be watching this video in 360 degrees. You might be watching this video in a flat video. You can choose between both. There are two videos that are dropping at the exact same time. So, I'm gonna bring you an uncut full review of the Celebrity Summit. And you know, I'm up here right on top of the pool deck. We're starting up on the pool deck and you see we've got caution tape. And yes, I'm telling you in the first 47 seconds of this video, if you are used to the Celebrity brand, if you are used to good food, if you are used to good cocktails, if you are used to any of that, do not come on the summit. Sorry, I gave you a review in the first minute. Um, if you <laughs> are okay with the booze cruise, where you're mainly going to drink beer, because uh, the cocktails, yes, even the cocktails at the martini bar are awful. They are awful. Um, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that, but you know, if you're coming on a booze cruise, hey look, there's, there's the booze guy. There's the booze guy. That's a, yes, yes. There's the booze guy. There's the second booze guy. Booze, 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 booze. They're literally carrying booze around the deck. I couldn't have written this any better. Um, but I do have my beer right here. But I also have a friend because we're going to be going around the entire Celebrity Summit, or as some people call it, let's not lie, the Slummit. Uh, but I have. My little friend here, his name is uh, Never Trust the Breathalyzer. Three, two, one. Gotta get a little bit of shade here. Let's see where we're at. I'm throwing shade, but now I get into shade. Zero point zero zero is where we're starting. If you know No Pants Profits, No Pants don't do a tour sober. Now I do have the drink package this cruise, and why I kind of call it a booze cruise is the drink package costs more, because you have to get it for both people in the room, the drink package costs more than it costs most people to actually get on this cruise. You know, minus taxes, port fees, gratuities, and other things like that. We are up here on deck 11, and I'm going to, uh, this is actually Stella, they have Stella on draft, so they have a lot of, they have like a couple different beers on draft here, again different from uh, MSC, this has Heineken all over. They've got Stella, Brown Castle, Brown Anchor, one of those uh, weird ones, and uh, Heineken on draft at the pool bar. Uh, I was about to get blown over, but I still finished my beer. Now, it is uh, 2 p.m., 2.08 p.m. exactly on a sea day, and uh, there's seats up on deck 11 by the pool. Uh, let's just uh, take a look around. Plenty of seating up on deck 11 by the pool. This ship does have Starlink on board, but uh, I will tell you the internet is, uh, is not great. Also, if you are a person that is a wheelchair user, uh, motion in, you know, needs help getting around, the stairs here on this ship are super duper duper insanely steep. So we're gonna go up to the top and then we'll work our way down. They do have a handicap lift they had to install, but this is called the rooftop terrace. This, oops, sorry, I just shanked that beer. This is something that they added when they uh, solstice-sized this ship. When they made it like the solstice class, they added a rooftop terrace. They added a screen up here. There's a basketball port, which like earlier today, they were advertising they were doing pickleball on. Oh, there, there's, there's a pickle net there. Pickleball is the new sport of sports, I guess, that people do. So we've got the pickleball, pickle net. I don't know how to get in here. There we go. So if you do want to play pickleball, there is a pickleball up here. I mean, it's not a huge setup. It's literally not a separate pickleball court. This is a very small ship. It is a 999 happy crew but there's room for a thousand. Those of you who get that joke, that's a Haunted Mansion reference. But there are 999 happy crew. And at the occupancy we're at right now, about 2,200 
passengers on board. Now they've kind of, uh, the rooftop terrace is a concept that didn't come from the solstice class. It actually came from the uh, edge class. And uh, it's kind of a outdoor area. There's no grass or anything, but they put a screen out. It's a lot better done on the edge class, to be honest with you. But um, they've got a screen, they've got all that. They show movies. Well, right now they're showing a. You've got to show up your tackle. They're showing a basketball, uh, not a basketball game, a football game, but you'll see one lower section of the screen is not working. It's very bright out here, but literally an entire quadrant of the screen on their outdoor screen doesn't work. That's why this is the booze cruise. Also, if you question whether this is the booze cruise or not, hey, look. Like, it's like, booze cruise? No booze cruise. There's, there's your booze cruise. That's actually, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to take the selfie right here Welcome for the Booze Cruise. Burger burger, burger, burger. Like because, I mean, that's the Booze Cruise. Uh, so, again, we're on deck 11 on the back. The screen, they show movies and stuff on it. But one quadrant, the bottom left quadrant of the screen, is not usable. So, makes you wonder, makes you question. When the bottom left quadrant of the screen is not usable, why is it there? Why haven't they fixed it? I'll tell you, this is just me talking. Um, there is no excuse to have anything broken on a cruise ship in Miami. This ship left from Miami four days from Miami over to um, Cozumel. Again, I find no reason for anything on a cruise ship out of Miami to be broken. Miami is the cruise ship capital of the world. All the companies that have installed and set up these cruise ships all have offices in Miami. I know it's kind of crazy that the wind is uh, nearly as bad as it is right now, but I, I, I have a lot of mass. So uh, I'm just saying, I don't think I'm flying anymore, anywhere. So that was, uh, that was deck 12, which has the uh, rooftop terrace. Where, no pants, profits. Okay. Profits, P-R-O-F-I-T-S. Okay. So yeah, deck 12. But I mean, you kind of see, look, like I said, it's a booze cruise. We're gonna talk more about cocktails when we get down to, you know, I don't expect good cocktails to be made for poolside. When we get to places that to actually make good cocktails, we will talk. We're all, oh, thank God, we got out of the wind. So, let's talk about one place I can't actually review on this video. Why? Well, because I'm not going there until 8.15 tonight. Today is the last day of a four-day cruise. I know four is much too short, but there's this restaurant that used to be here on the summit called Cuisine. I mean, technically, it's still here. But yeah, there's this one called Cuisine. It used to be here, but now they have La Petite Chef inside of Cuisine. What is La Petite Chef? Well, what they do is this is Cuisine. Hello, Cuisine. And they have projectors on top of all the tables. You can actually see that little hole there. That's not a glory hole. That's a projector hole. Yeah, I said glory hole eight minutes into a video. Uh, but you see there's these projector holes all over and they project down on the table and there's a little tiny chef that's projected on the table that's making your food so like i said you've got you can kind of see they've hidden the projectors up here and this is on the four-day cruise this is the only place other than tuscan grill that you're going to get lobster and filet mignon uh, this is where you're going to get your surf and turf this is a $60 upcharge restaurant. Now, I have been to La Petite Chef on other celebrity cruises. And when I've gone to La Petite Chef on other celebrity cruises, it was a different menu. Uh, I have not done this one yet. You can see this is all projection mapped. The plates are a special matte color so that they can project on them. A little chef builds your food. I'm going to have a completely separate review on that because I can't include it in this review. Uh, the last one I did, which was a completely different menu, this one actually has lobster and filet on it. The other one had short rib and sea bass or something. Um, but uh, I was impressed by the show. I was not impressed by the food. Last time I did this on another celebrity ship. But review coming. I, I, gotta, I have to take my tongue and I have to bite my tongue because I can't talk about that. So we saw that back area. Let's talk about the pool deck. Again, I'm showing you the pool. Ooh. Oh, look, I don't have a beer. There's the beer man. Beer man. What type of beer does the beer man have? Yes. What does the beer man have? Oh, 
Ultra, Ooh. Millerless. I want that one. I have premium. Yes. The nice. red one. Excellent yeah. Choice. Yeah, that was the only one that, that looked like not garbage. Uh, so, you know, on a booze cruise, we've got the Bagus, is that Bagus, it? Bagus, yes. We got Bagus right here, and he is uh, helping us on our booze journey. I will tell you, you that is something celebrity. Wait, I've got something. Wrong. No, 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 put it back. You just, give me two. Use my, use my roommate's. Uh, this one. I do. Yes, but that one's now busted. You've opened Your the Bud Light. Eight. Eight zero two four. Eight zero two four. Here, no, no, no. My, 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 my roommates, to, my roommates here, imaginary yeah. too. There we go. You're going. What? Well, because uh, when you get a drink package, both people in the room have to get it. Now he opened a beer, and no one's gonna drink Budweiser. It's usually Bud Light that no one drinks. But you know what? Oh God, I'm gonna say this 11 minutes in. I guess I'm running a little low on gender fluid, but uh, I'm taking full power gender fluid today. Not gender fluid light. Hey, look, guys. You can judge me all you want. This is my first booze cruise I've ever taken. It's literally a cruise with one stop, where the drink package costs uh, costs more than the actual cruise itself. Um, but yeah, so we got. I gotta finish this Budweiser. Um, if you do have the premium drink package, any beers are available. If you have the lower one. Some beers are available, but I do happen to absolutely love that they've got guys all over the ship. Mm. I'm not downing two beers. Uh, I love that guys all over the ship with beer. So here is the pool deck. Yeah, they do still have the problem of the reserving of the chairs and everything. The hot tubs are still filled with children. Trust me. Uh, there, there's less children than you find out in Royal Caribbean, but there's still children. Usually when you go on a cruise in January, that's a seven day cruise. Uh, this is January 4th to January 8th. But if you go on a cruise in January, it's a seven day cruise, you don't see many kids. But if you go on a four day cruise, mommy and daddy sneak the kids out of school for Thursday, Friday. Uh, and you'll see, look, not gonna lie, there's kids. <clears throat> Sorry, why I'm drinking beer, like I said, and I'm gonna have a whole separate video on this. Uh, the cocktails on this ship have been god awful. Like, not just bad, but god awful. Um, and I'm the captain of the cocktails. Uh, so, we're on deck 11. We're overlooking the pool deck. Hey, look! Yay! There's our pool deck. I will tell you, unlike Carnival, the music's not that loud here. I appreciate uh, moderately loud music. Not music that's going to uh, completely eviscerate and murder my eardrums. But let us continue on. We shall continue on. Uh, this is the bar that we started in. This is the pool bar. That first drink I downed, I got the pool bar out here. Now, this is the mast bar. They don't have a mast grill up here, but they do have a grill that's down the deck. So there is, here's the mast bar right there. Uh-oh. Uh oh, he's got beer goggles. He's got beer goggles, okay. With your beer goggles then, sir. Yes, sir. I must have you prepare me a shot. Yes, sir, which kind okay. of shot? Whatever, let's go, go. Make it pretty, make it for the internet. I was telling people the cocktails weren't great here. I can't do a whole cocktail, but I can do a shot. So make me a nice okay, shot. Let's, let's so we got Amrish. Amrish. From and sometime, Mauritius. Sometimes I'm poor, huh? What? Sometimes I'm poo. You're poo? Yeah, I'm rich, I'm poo. I'm rich, I'm... Oh! You got me? I got him. So I'm rich, I have a, I have a riddle for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay? What do, what do poor people have, rich people need, and if you eat it, you'll die? Bro, go there. Bro. Uh-oh. Hey, bro, come here, come here. Come, come, on. come, on, come on. What this do you... Is, this, what? Is my, this is my bra. From, we are brother from another mother. Brother? Wait, wait. One, one's darker than another. So you should be brother from another father. Oh, so this is from my another father. He's other father? Another, other brother? This guy has the blonde hair, so I call him sister from another mister. Oh. <laughs> what are you making? I'm making shot. Shot, He's shot, making shot because I have too much beer in my belly already and I have to keep drinking. Shot, shot, shot. Okay, so what do poor people have, rich people need, and if you eat it, you'll die. 
Nothing's coming to mind? What? Poor people have, rich people need. If you eat it, you die. You die. No, rich people die? Oh. No, 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 just, <laughs> just you die. Come on, what's the answer? Is nothing coming to mind? Nothing. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What do poor people have? Nothing. Nothing. What do rich people have? Everything. Everything. Uh, what do rich people need? Nothing. 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 What if you eat? What till you die? Nothing. 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 I said nothing. nothing to you four times, and you didn't understand. <laughs> no. oh. Oh. I gave you the answer. Have a shot. Have a shot. All right. Have a shot. So what is the shot? shot? Tell, <laughs> tell the internet what the shot is. I'm gonna tell them it's delicious. You tell them what it is. What's the shot? This shot is. Nothing. The shot is nodding. Uh oh, like he is with his brothers? I don't know. No. Okay, nothing. the shot is naughty. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Oh my god, it's not. The poor people need, the rich people want. It is nothing. Oh, so now th I get it. It is nothing. This shot is nothing. I have a something, something like you need to Here we go. What is in there? It's strong. Yeah, you tell me, make it you something strong. Woo! Ah. Okay, let's go guys, let's go, let's go. Finish this story. I will finish it! Finish the story. Good? Oh, ah. you need that? Of course I need that. All right. That was a good shot. Yeah. I mean, there is no such thing as a good shot. You just, you shot it back, but. That was, uh, gin was in that, right? Elderflower? What was in that? This is tequila, tequila with uh, tequila, and I put some uh, cacaria, and then I Oh, it's the Brazilian tequila. crab. Yeah. Oh, I should have put that off limits. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. Rich man, whatever. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. Hey, they wanted to be on video. Uh, you know, here's the thing. I don't have a single staff member on this ship I can talk bad of. Everybody's been good. Everybody's been great. Um, Honestly, you and cocktail menus have gone down, and we'll get to that. I promise you, we're going to the Martini Bar, we're going to the Sunset Bar. We're headed right now, actually, to the Sky Lounge. You might say, hey, why are we headed to the Sky Lounge? Now, there is an area right up here before we get to the Sky Lounge. It's on deck 12. It's only for guests of the retreat. I'm going to stop right here. Yeah, so that's a retreat guest only area we won't go up there oh oh yeah so this is a retreat guest only area and uh really there's like an electromagnet or something keeping it it no working why because i'm in a casino in an inside cabin special uh give me just a second let me fix my backpack here my camera went slumpy to the other side. There we go. Let us, let us continue the tour. Now, we are now going to go to the first bar that's had major cutbacks on this ship. It is the Sky Lounge. Now, what do I mean by major cutbacks? The Sky Lounge was originally, here's, here's some history. The Sky Lounge was originally sponsored by Sky Vodka, S-K-Y-Y, it had two Y's. We might be able to see the missing Y. The Sky Lounge was sponsored by Sky Vodka. And Sky Vodka dropped the first partnership. But the whole idea of the Sky Lounge is, and it's on most of the celebrity ships, it was inspired, informed, guided by the stars. And guided by the 12 different star signs. So, so I am not an astrologer. I don't know anything about that. But yeah, the, the Sky Lounge here used to have a two Y's. It's S-K-Y-Y Lounge. And right now it's not the S-K-Y-Y Lounge, but there are six, uh, there are, I'm sorry. <laughs> I almost gave away the punchline. <laughs> there are 12 star signs. And they have one drink for each of the 12 star signs. That's across two pages. Cocktails are $14. You see they have the Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Leo, Capricorn, Cancer. I don't know much about star signs, but I know that I am a Gemini. So let us go check out the rest of the cocktails. Oh, wait. 
they have six of the 12 astrology signs. Now, if you're a guest that paid for a beverage package, you might say, I was told that there are 12 different cocktails in the Sky Lounge. One for, hey, I'm a Gemini. I'd like a Gemini. I, you know, should we do it for the lulls, internet? Should I go to the bar and try, oh, that's a really cool piece of art, look at that. It's like dress shirts, but it's made of like, it's made of paper. That's cool. I'm seeing that for the first time, look. But back to our real thing. There are, uh, there are uh, 12 star signs, and I have been told that they have significantly cut the cocktail menus on this ship as an experiment. Well, they specifically cut the cocktails on this ship as an experiment, and they're gonna roll it out soon to more too. Watch this. That's just a. Uh, I don't know. So there's no Gemini on the menu. I don't even know what the Gemini is, to be perfectly honest. But it's kind of funny because we've got the Sky Lounge. Let's see if um, we can order one. Now again, you can order a cocktail how you like it, but I think the mixers, the default uh, default spirits they've been putting in have not been that great. The problem is I do have to finish this side. I mean, I don't have to, but. And unlike Carnival, I know a lot of you found this channel via Carnival. There is no, uh, there is no limit on the number of drinks that you can have per day on Celebrity. So, uh, we're not fighting for top score here, because top score huh, means you're dead. I'm not getting alcohol poisoning for your entertainment. I'm sorry. Maybe a little liver damage for your entertainment, but not alcohol poisoning. Now, like two or three months ago, I was up here and I drank the entire menu, all 12 cocktails. Now, let's not lie. Is there a big loss? No. Those cocktails were awful. There was like one or two that were any good whatsoever. But um, overall, those, those, those cocktails were, uh, were awful. But the question is, um, <laughs> do they have the Gemini anymore? I don't think they do. I mean, let's see. Let's see. You don't have the Gemini anymore on the menu, right? Yeah. Gone? Okay, make me something nice. Cocktail you like, you know. All right, he's gonna make me something nice, but yes. I, I got a shake of the head. So we we're already at a place that from the cocktail menu, they've cut half of the cocktail menu. And the entire point is that there's 12 star signs. Think about it. Uh, there are 12 star signs and they're gone. Now, I'm not gonna lie. If this was a one-off, cool. But we're gonna go back to the Sunset Bar. I have on my phone, let me pull out my phone real quick. I have a list of the top cocktails at this bar. Um, where is it? Uh, the top cocktails. The Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Leo, and Gemini. Oh, now I know all the star signs. The Gemini was actually the worst. So I guess it's a good thing I didn't try and order a Gemini because I am a Gemini and I guess I am the worst. Um, but we're gonna literally go to, um, we're gonna go to the Sunset Bar. And the best drink at the Sunset Bar is the Marmalade Smash. We got the Marmalade Smash, the Pickford Punch, Caliente, Bella Sierra, Sunset Pina Colada, El Diablo, Summertime Sangria, uh, Kentucky Mule, Sangria Spritz, Key West Daiquiri, Sunset uh, Michelada, Bloody Mary. I'm not a Bloody Mary fan. But here's the funny thing. Half of those drinks are gone. Half of the drinks here are gone. And I've been told directly by people on board that they're trying it here on this booze cruise because no one cares. Because, yeah, you know, if, if you're paying for celebrity, if you're going to go on a booze cruise, save your goddamn money and go on MSC. I might be doing that uh, tomorrow. <laughs> save your money, go on MSC and drink beer. All the Heineken you can drink for next to nothing. Um, I'm just kind of trying to say, but um, realistically, Realistically speaking, you know, Celebrity is going to put these changes across their fleet. I might make a separate video on this because it's a little bit ridiculous. I mean, we're up at the Sky Lounge, which is known as one of their premium bars on board, to be realistic. There's, there's the window. This is where you go if you don't want to be outside. 
I'm giving you a 360 and I'm giving the people that are watching the 360 video um, <laughs> really confusing this right now because I just did a 360 on 360 video because that's, uh, that's still up there we're hopefully getting something nice I feel I feel I feel like something nice is coming because I've learned just look at the cocktail menus and throw them out what is that one peace from heaven peace from heaven what's in it just so I can tell the internet Oh. Watermelon. Yeah. Oh, peace from heaven. Absolute raspberry, Malibu watermelon. And you make this up, right? It's not on any menu, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's special. So, you know, I found every time I tell the bartenders just to make something, it's far better than anything on the menu. Peace from heaven. Let's give it a sip. Mmm. Oh, thank God. Mmm. Finally, a good cocktail. You're watching a guy who for the last 10 minutes is complaining about not being able to get a drink on board. That's any good. You just gotta... Mm. Unless I'm an indoor cat and I was just outside for a bit. Oh. Oh. Thank. Thank the Lord. He did me right. You need the card? Or you already ring? You ring already? Okay, perfect. One more? Yes. I finally get a good cocktail, and he goes, one more, and I go, yes. Yes. One more for sure. Um, that is a, a good drink. So, yeah, um, let's talk about the drink package. I'm going to tell you. If you have booked a cruise far out, holidays are always the best time to book your drink package. Um, I think I booked this drink package using some onboard credit, some gift cards and stuff that I had. I think I booked it on Black Friday because Celebrity always does a great special on their drink package and on their internet package on Black Friday. But uh, that piece from heaven, that's a good drink. Let's talk about what goes on behind me. Um, this is, on this ship, be very clear, on this ship, this is also the nightclub. After midnight, there's a guy who's got the little machine and he's checking people's IDs and seeing uh, seeing how old people are if they come in here after midnight. Strangest thing I've ever seen though, and we'll make it to the casino, I promise you, we'll make it to the casino. Strangest thing I've ever seen is that the nightclub is open later than the casino. That's something I've never seen on any cruise ship in my life before. I know that sounds weird, but look, the nightclub costs them money to operate, Gen generally speaking. Yeah, you can sell some drinks, but generally, people that are in the nightclub have the drink package that are up super late and stuff. So, you know, yeah, you're making some tips here and there. The casino makes them money. So, you know, I'm always so confused when, uh, the nightclub closes after the casino. The casino's been closing at like 1.30 every night. And the nightclub's been closing closer to uh, 2 o'clock, 2.30 every night. So that's just where we're at. Okay. Oh, it's saying my camera temperature's very high on the 360. For those of you watching in 360, yeah, he's going to make it. Whoa, whoa, that was a good drink. I like that. You make that up or they know that around the ship? No, I make it. You make it. That's delicious. You got some mint in there too? Oh, okay. So it's mint, watermelon, absolute raspberry, and Malibu. And some fruits. Okay. That's a good drink. I ain't angry at that drink. Oh, sorry guys. I don't want to actually stop the video, so I'm going to put that there for a second. And when I get a good drink on this ship, it's been so rare for the past four days. Um, when I get a good drink on this ship, Abraham comes out to play. That Abraham, so. I had to, 360 camera, I'm sorry I had to do that to you. I had to relegate you to the, to the bad area. But Abraham, Abraham had to come out and play. 
Yes, 29 minutes. I've had one, two, three, four, five drinks. I think some people would call this binge drinking. Ah. I mean, it's the first time I've seen this beer in four days. A little something, something. It is a, it is, I believe it's pretty strong. What's that? Oh my eyes, this is me turning on a flashlight. My vision is hosed. Oh God, that's seven and a half percent alcohol by volume. When Bud Light's a half a percent alcohol by volume. Oh. That is a, that's a good beer. And what paradise magic what is what's, the, what's your name again for that one P paradise magic peace from heaven 8024 thank you thank you man peace from heaven but sometimes oh look he gave us two different straws you see this watch he's gonna laugh where are you from good we're gonna make a philippines joke then watch philippines Jamaica. <laughs> My goodness. Philippines. Papa. Philippines. Jamaica. I'm talking about the girth of the straws. You're watching for the last half hour. You see what I pounded back. If you didn't expect me to make Filipinos have a tiny penis joke and Jamaica has a thick penis joke when you give me two straws, but you know what? I love them both. So I'm gonna suck from double the thickness at once. And we're gonna continue this tour. Again, why does no pants do uncut tours? Because I don't lie to you. I think this is important. I think I told you in the first two minutes of this that I'm on for $238 for me and my buddy. We pay the taxes and port fees. Going on MSC ship, which You'll see a tour of sooner, sooner rather than later tomorrow for $400. If I don't pay any taxes and port fees, I get those $400 back on board. Ta-da. Um, nobody owns me. I'm not a travel agency. I don't want to. I want to say what I'm about to say. Extra, I don't want your money. I like the YouTube money. You know why? Because it lets me write off my travel against it. But, oh, God. I don't want your money. I don't want to sell you anything. I don't want to sell you merch. There's one thing I might want to say though. I am a minister. I know that's weird to say no pants is a minister. But you know, I am a minister. And I want to sell you for free, like just for the cost of postage, a letter and a certificate that says you're a member of my church. The Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. <laughs> Specific sect. Uh, the no seafood sect. Uh, you're a member of my church, the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. And uh, you're not allowed to wear pants to the you're not allowed to wear pants unless it's cold or to religious services. Therefore, the dining room cannot make you wear pants on formal night. So, we've looked at the pool from above. Now we're down on the pool deck from below. I'm gonna follow the rules. What do I mean by I wanna follow the rules? I have to finish this drink before I go up on the pool deck. Because you can have glass on the pool deck. Because you break glass on the pool deck, everyone's barefoot. Fun fact. Fun fact, Richie's gonna give you a fun fact. All right, does so anybody see those doors all around the cruise ship? I say crew only. Almost no doors on the ship are locked. Why is that a fun fact? Fun fact, everybody's giving you a fun fact. Um, yeah, almost no doors on cruise ships are locked because then you have to give out 999 keys. So, you know, that's all I'm saying. While I suck down this uh, glass drink. All right. So I was on a carnival ship. I don't remember the name of the carnival ship. And there was a statue on that carnival ship. I think it was an Alaskan carnival ship. Uh, we are in the solarium now, which is the uh, adults only, except for two hours a day thing. There was a statue on the carnival ship, and I called her Large Marge. Well, there's a sister. 
There's the other large marge. And there's places on large marge you have to rub for good luck. If you notice, Brune, he's a Renaissance professor, festival performer. Her nipples are erect with excitement. So you gotta, for large marge, for good luck, you gotta go to the nipples and you gotta rub the butt. No one does it here because it's at a pool deck. But on the carnival ship I was on, there was large marge. She might have been on the panorama, she might have been on the luminosa. I love carnival, um, but uh, Sorry, I said it out loud. Uh, I love carnival. Uh, but this is the solarium. It's the adults only area, except for two hours a day. Uh, it's got a pool, it's got two hot tubs, and it's got Large Marge's sister. Um, but uh, I love Large Marge. Let's continue on. I had, I had to go say hi to Large Marge. We're gonna have the pool deck. I'm gonna have to talk a lot on the pool deck. Why am I gonna have to talk a lot on the pool deck? Because they play a lot of copywritten music on the pool deck. But for the pool deck, Let's stop by the Spa Cafe. Spa Cafe. They have spa stuff. It's healthy. Look, you're looking at me, you're saying, this guy's down six drinks in 36 minutes, about to get number seven. Uh, you think I'm going to the healthy place? No. Now, did I go here with my premium beverage package and get a peanut butter and banana smoothie like two hours ago? Yes. Was it god awful? I don't want to say yes, but I'll say, uh, did Bill Clinton fly on Jeffrey Epstein's plane? Yes. Yes. Uh, so, we've got, uh, we've got smoothies, which are included in the beverage package, and you've got uh, different food and stuff. Oh my God, there's another barman here. I do, I do distinctly, distinctly, distinctly uh, love. Hello. Oh no, I'll turn it to you. You can't see her yet. There we go. We'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> I do distinctly just, I love the Celebrity Booze Cruises. I'm gonna bring this camera up a little bit so that my 360 brethren can see what's going on. Oh, he's got his pen there. So um, they have all over, they have these beer carts literally all over. I, this is a, you're, 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 you're taking a tour with the guy. I do seven day cruises. I do 10 day cruises. I do 14 day cruises. I don't do booze cruises ever. But if we're gonna go on a booze cruise, we're gonna do some booze. What do we got? Uh, Blue Moon. Yes, sir. Thank you, bud. And this is uh, Ro Roland from Philippines. And he's working the bar cart. And we're going Blue Moon. What's the room number? 8024. Thank you, bud. Thank you. 8024. They have bar carts. Come on. These bar carts, I, look, I, look. He's off camera. He's going to give it, jump in for a minute. Jump for a minute. Yes. This is Anthony. Say hi. Hi. Anthony's going to be in the video where we're going to talk about this ship overall and the booze cruise. Because this is your first cruise, right? Just first talk a little loud. Yes, your sir. first cruise ever. And you know what's funny? I took him on his first cruise ever. And I said, you want to go on another cruise right after this cruise? So we're, we're jumping off tomorrow. We're going to spend a day in Miami, downtown Miami. And then we're gonna go on the MSC other garbage ship, Magnifica or something. <laughs> but guess what, tomorrow night, yeah. we're going bowling, aren't we? Indeed we are. I've been told that we're going bowling, but I'm gonna get, let Anthony give you his opinion separately. But I mean, look, these guys are all over, the bar cart guys. I'm gonna have you do me a favor real quick. Can you zip me up in the back and get that thing back erect? There we go. No pants profits. No pants profits. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, Anthony, I'm sorry. Yes, you got my stick back erect. Uh, I got you so back erect. I'm going to let him uh, <laughs> get out of the video for a bit. But we are going to get his opinion because here's the thing. I've never been on a booze cruise before. I've never done seven drinks in 39 minutes. Uh, and they may be two really good drinks upstairs. But we're going to compare two booze cruises. Okay. So I like to say to people, we're going to talk about this cruise. We're going to talk about the next cruise. And at the end of the next cruise, we're going to come together. Look, this guy, this guy, we get on the, the cruise the first day. I'm, I'm not rehashing this all now, but he goes, wait, the food's free? <laughs> the food's then, included? What then do he, you mean? Then he gets in the shower the second day. 
because he passed. Uh, I think passed we both passed. Pa we both passed the fuck out the yeah. first night. We're late enough in the video. We're dropping f bombs. Do they include shampoo? He goes. Do they include shampoo and soap? <laughs> oh God. This is what happens when I take people on booze cruises. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I have friends I play poker with all the time, and I'm like, oh, you're a degenerate gambler. You want to go on a cruise? Like, look, I'm a degenerate gambler. What's up? All good? No pants. You want to be in a no pants video? No there we go. Hashtag all right, so, so, so here's a question. What is your favorite drink you've had on the ship so far? I, I'm a bougie bee, so I stick to Prosecco. <laughs> I had that at lunch. You did? Was I had great? that at lunch. Yes, but I have had seven drinks in 40 minutes. Oh my god. Oh wait, so here's a question. Yeah. Now, there, there's a thing. When someone says no pants, they have to do it. Have you been drinking all day? Yes. If I had a breathalyzer and I wanted you to blow it, would you blow on it and see where you're at? Because you ain't driving until tomorrow yeah. afternoon. Okay. There's no herpes. No there's no herpes. Okay. Look, oh my god. look, here's the most important thing. You have a Prosecco, right? Mm -hmm. Watch this. I have to teach my channel how we do this. You know how we get rid of the herpes? No. Alcohol! <laughs> I'm not, no, no, the alcohol okay. kills everything. Now I have all the herpes. No, you don't have all the herpes. There's no herpes in the, okay, so it's gonna count down. Put your drink down for a second, you're gonna need a hand. So five, four, three, blow. two, and you blow in that hole, keep that open, go. Go, blow, keep going, blow, 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 blow. We, we already had a glory hole like 20 minutes ago on the video. It wasn't really a, what? What's a glory hole? Hold on. Yes, that is exactly what it is. Oh, 0.18. Is that bad? Can I drive? No, you're gonna be sober in 12 hours and 24 minutes. Oh my god. Uh, you may let's this. You may soon experience. I'm gonna blow after you. You may soon experience nausea and feelings of melancholy. I have melancholy. She has melancholy. Yes. Yes. That's what, what was your score? I didn't do it yet. I'm oh, going to do it right now. Okay, okay. You, I'm going to blow off the herpes. Do you do no. I don't have the herpes. You're the one that made the joke. I have herpes. I know. Yes. No. Just to be clear, what happens, in, uh, what happens on cruise ships stays on cruise ships. Seven drinks in 40 minutes. Oh, my God. Are you I've been drinking since 11 a.m. I woke up at 11 a.m. <laughs> so let's see where I'm at. You're over point something something. One something. Point eight. Yeah, you shouldn't drive over 0.08. I mean, I'm at still 0.04. Don't get a car. I'm at 0.04. What? We need to get you a shot. What? We need to get you a shot. <laughs> so so my joke is, my joke is, I used to be like, I would say, you know how you say you you say yes, you know how you say yes and like don't give a shit about religion. You say, does the Pope have kids blow him? And then you say, yes. <laughs> now you say, <laughs> now you say, now you say, did Epstein not hang himself? Yes. There we go. Let's get a shot. Let's get shots. Shots, what are we getting? What are we doing shots up? Oh shit, I haven't done a shot the whole time. Okay. What? Good I'm not doing Jaeger. Good tequila. Are you a premium package? What do you have? Or are you yeah, the I have normal? A classic package. You have classic. I have a basic bitch. Oh, she's going to get me a, class, a premium. Uh, the best tequila. This guy right here, he knows. Marco. Marco knows. Marco's the man. Marco's just going to make us. Marco has been making me good drinks this cruise. Uh, and Marco's like, I'm at the pool bar. Okay. I'm going to give Marco two minutes. He's got to finish with a lady. Okay, but let's, let's, let's talk. Let's talk for the channel. Do you cruise a lot? This is my third cruise. Okay, so this is an interview. This is an interview in the middle of a ship tour, okay? okay? I do uncut ship tours. I tell people the truth. I do all that. Like, that's the difference between me and every other YouTuber, every other YouTuber. I know them. I know them. And they, oh, they have, they run a travel agency, right? They run this, they run that. I told you guys 20 minutes ago, I don't want your money. Uh, <laughs> like, he has enough money. Yes, I do. But we don't <laughs> say that out loud. No, I'm saying. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, but, um. So the other cruises you've done before, are they longer, are they shorter? Where, where do they lie? About the same length. So four days, five yeah. days, three days, I you know, can't summer. Miss work that much, so you can't miss work that much. That's right, we said you have I to you have to not work for anybody anymore. Now I <laughs> shit, I'm usually drunk when I'm talking to people. You remembered me. I remember you from last night at that bar downstairs yeah, before dinner. She's trying not to work anymore. <laughs> she's trying not to so work you anymore. Know me, you want me to not work anymore, just let me know. Yes. <laughs> 
Yes. She has a, a double D resume. No, it's like a G or an H. Oh, a G or an H yeah, resume. Like a guh. A guh. <laughs> resume. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately for my YouTube audience, I don't motorboat on video. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 but no. seriously. No, no, <laughs> serious interview for a second. Okay. I don't have two mics. So, what? No, I'm not saying that's serious. Uh, what cruise lines have you been on before? Is it all celebrity or? I went um, Royal Caribbean. Okay, so it's technically the same company. Yes, and then back in the day when I was like a first time cruiser, I tried the C word. The what? The C word. What the hell is the sea word? You know the sea word. Carnival? Yes. Carnival's amazing. That's my favorite cruise ship Lies in the world. Retail. No, I don't. Okay. The good I'm ships. Gonna, the good ships. The seven day ships. This is okay, yeah. So I've okay. only been four. And this is back in the so day. So have you done more than fifteen drinks today so far since eleven o'clock in the morning? I don't remember. There we go. She <laughs> might be there. See the sea word only gives you fifteen drinks a day. Oh so, so we got Royal Caribbean, we got Sea Word, it's Carnival, <laughs> and we got this ship. Here's yes. what I'm asking you to do right now on the last day of the cruise. Please rank them. Number one, number two, number three. As what is best? Um, we want two shots. Of the best? Of chips. the best thing you can do. We both have tequila. premium package. Tequila. Something with tequila. You Chilled. can mix it with something though. Chilled. You can mix it. Oh no, we're doing shots. Okay. Shot. Okay, Marco's going to do it. Shots. Marco, Marco's Chilled. got it. Chilled shots. All right. Okay. Wait, All right. Which so, one best? One is the best. Okay, one is Royal Caribbean so far because I had a bigger okay, ship. Can we talk why? Was it big... like Oasis or like um, one of the Oasis class? I was class? Freedom, so it's a little bit Okay, older. it's bigger. It's a 4,000, 4,000, I know yeah. a little bit more about the cuisine. It's a 4,000 yeah. person ship versus a 2,200 person ship. Yes, I like it bigger. Did you like the <laughs> Irish? Yeah, I know. You know what's funny? Bigger is you know better. what's funny? So I, I, I'm going to give you a little inside baseball that the people online already know. Uh, I ordered two drinks up at the Sky Lounge. One came with a straw that had a very tiny girth. And one came with a straw that was thick. And you said a thick is better. No, I said that's a Filipino straw and a Jamaican straw. <laughs> it's a Filipino straw and a Jamaican straw. Okay, so Royal Caribbean. Let me ask you a question. So let's rank them first, and then we'll talk okay. while we're getting our shot. Okay. So you said Royal for booze cruises. All, all three were booze cruises, right? Yes. What I'm, okay, let me explain to you. I explained the audience already. I classify a booze cruise as a cruise that the premium beverage package costs more than the actual cruise fare. It's true. My, That's both times, the last two cruises, my my package cost and basic yeah. cost more than my cruise. Cost more than your cruise fare. That's but I, that's why I make up for it. I, I agree. Oh no, you have to, you have to drink your stripes. Yeah. Uh, so we got Marco here, He's and Marco's got. What da 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 da. What is it, Marco? No, just, we we have to go. Da 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 da. Da da. You know what we say at the end of that. Da 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 da. You don't know the song. Da, 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 da. Tequila. There she's got it. <laughs> All right, Marco, that looks minty. Is it minty? What? This one is called bubble gum. It's bubble called gum. bubble gum. Hold on. I'm, uh, it looks like shrimp. Hold on. Okay. I'm putting my shrimp. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's it's called. It's called yeah, bubble gum. We can smell it Are first. We're gonna wrap our arms around each other. Okay. Okay. She wants me to motorboat on camera. You see that? Thing? Internet. Here we go. Are you gonna take the whole thing? I mean, yes. don't you go, normally? Go. Okay, go. That's a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! I win. Very good. That tastes like a suntan. <laughs> that tastes like a suntan. Can we just rename it to Shrek cum? Yes, yeah, Shrek cum. If you were to suck Shrek off. Oh my god. And he were to fit. There's no kids around. It's, it's the bull bar. He does. He tastes like dirty bowls. They actually built Shrek's house in Scotland, and I have a friend that went to Shrek's house. What's Airbnb, Airbnb, like. Airbnb yeah. built Shrek's house, what? and I have a friend that went there. That was good. Now Shrek wasn't there, but Shrek still came. Okay, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna finish our conversation. Okay, back we're gonna finish okay, our we'll conversation go back. because I gotta finish my ship tour okay. eventually. Okay. I'll catch you later tonight. Okay. So, oh, motorboat now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So number one was Royal Caribbean. Was number two celebrity or the C word? Celebrity. Okay. C the other C word. The C word. So let's talk about. You now have one minute. I'm not trying to time you to one minute, but I gotta get continuing I got you, with my I got you. tour. Why do you like 
Royal Caribbean the best, Celebrity the second best, and Carnival third best. Go ahead. Royal Caribbean had like cabanas and a lot more to do. We had ice skating rink. We had a lot more just like, it felt like more together. Here, there was like times you'd walk around the corner and like lights were out, things were falling out of the ceilings, chairs weren't set up. Things just seem not not as cleanly, or and the staff wasn't as nice here. Like on Royal, Caribbean, most of the staff. Except Marco. There's a couple, no, no, Marco, I love. I love Marco's Marco. like my favorite. But staff. on Royal Caribbean, they were like, "What do you want? How much more can I give you?" Like they were over the top here. They were like, "I want a cup." They give me not a cup because they're like, "Bitch, you drank this too much." This is celebrity's second oldest ship. You think they're putting their best people here? No, they're like, like the, they were like the second oldest. That's ship. That's maybe why. Carnival. It was kind of just a little more ratchet, and I mean, if you want ratchet, you want ratchet. I didn't want ratchet. So that's, if you want to come up and get turned up and want to see people throw bows, go on She's Carnival. trying to say, if you want to go on Celebrity, you're going to get that Filipino straw. If you want to go... <laughs> you know, kind of we love you. We love you. The runtime's getting long. I'm going to do her shoulder. We're not going lower. That's all we're getting. I'll see you later. Bye. All right. Let's go on, I've got my card. Fun diversions, that's why you watch the no pants. I'm also ice skating here right now. If you haven't noticed, I haven't taken a normal walk because the pool deck is so wet and slippery, I'm literally ice skating. Why have I decided it's smart to ice skate on the pool deck? Because you don't slip when you're ice skating. Uh-oh, there's the beer man. There's the beer man. Hold up. It's still full. All right. Oh God. I know you don't have blue moon. I switch it up. Stella. Yeah. So this is, we're telling all the beer men, Rana. From India, you know Russell Peters? You know Russell Peters? Nothing, nothing is coming. No, you don't know him? Okay, eight. All right, thank you. All right, this tour is insane and I'm totally okay with it. Oh God, next up on our tour is me perfect. And me burping again. All right. Next up on our tour is the Ocean View Cafe and the Sunset Bar. Why? Yeah, because I said so. So let's go ahead. Ocean View Cafe. This is Ocean View Cafe. It's actually really well revitalized on this ship. And when they solstice the ship, they did a good job. There's a bit of an ice cream line. This is the included ice cream. You got the upcharge ice cream as well. Uh, and they've got, oh, they got the desserts open still. It is a, oh, sorry. I gotta put a beer down to see, it's three o'clock. So they had a taco station here. That for some reason had a ridiculous line earlier today. They have an Indian station every day. I still question that choice. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Wycliffe is here. Wycliffe is here. <laughs> Okay, no okay Wycliffe. How are you doing? Good. No, Wycliffe. We love, we love Wycliffe. Thank you so much. No, 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 Wycliffe. <laughs> I need to chug this beer and get another beer from you, Wycliffe. <laughs> okay, Wycliffe, of the beers you have here, have what is your favorite? Do you, do you have Red Stripe hidden in the back somewhere? Red Stripe, I have somewhere there, but I'm going to bring it for you. What? I, I will bring it for you, but I have it on the other side. I don't have it. Where is it on the other side? Uh, on the bar. You mean the, they have it in the, the Sunset yeah, Bar? on the Sunset Bar. Okay, I'll get a Red Stripe there then. So uh, give me, uh, i got to get something from Wycliffe though. Okay. So uh, let's go with a, uh, at the uh, Amstel. Amstel. Is that the best you get? Amstel. Amstel. I have a cold one. You got anything better yeah. under there? Uh -huh. No, just Amstel. All right, Wyclef. Wyclef, he always has a drink ready. Honestly, every time I come by, Wyclef has a drink ready. He's, 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 he's seen uh, Abraham Lincoln before, and I have no hands right now because I'm double fisting with a camera at the same time. We're still on the pool deck, and I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. I think the 360 camera still has charge. We might have to uh, take a break 
after the pool deck if I got to charge up 360. But Wyclef's got it. Now remember, unlike Carnival, you don't have that 15 drink a day limit. Okay, Mr. Richard, we're done? We're done. Thank you so Thank much. You about it. Thank I'm going to leave that empty there because I have no hands. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had no hands. They don't have garbage cans on cruise ships. My God. What have I done to myself? We're 60 minutes and like eight, nine. <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry for that burp of vision. Eight, nine, ten drinks in. I'm going to make sure I still have my two phones. I do. That's all that really matters there. Let's go ahead. So we've got the pizza. The pizza here, unlike the C word, which my friend was talking about before Carnival, unlike the C word, the pizza here is only open till 1 a.m. But guess what? The casino's only open till uh, 1.30. I think the C word, Carnival, is the best of all worlds because the casino's open till like three, and then pizza's open till like four. Uh, MSC, casino's open till like three, but the pizza's only open till one. Uh, but uh, we gotta go somewhere and shoddy, 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 shoddy these two drinks. Uh, but they do have a lot of food open after normal food hours. So you know what, for a booze cruise, I have to give celebrity good credit for a booze cruise. They've got a lot of options open outside of the standard 2.30 p.m. You know, lunches, I think we're past 2.30, sorry. I can't remember. Outside of the 2.30 p.m. Lunch is done, so which one am I gonna enjoy more? I've got a Stella, got an Amstel. Uh, why do you guys watch these videos? I don't know, thousands of you do. I love you for that, I really do. I'm taking a rest for a minute. <laughs> I ain't gonna stop, I'm taking a rest for a minute. I'm gonna drink some beers. Amstel's done. Whew. Oh, sorry. Y'all think I'm faking it for the internet or something like that? No. You can watch the 360. Maybe. I don't know if there's this 360 still recording. Uh, I think the 360 is still recording. I don't know. If it isn't, hey, 360 people, catch me over on a flat video. Because I know that's still working. It's in front of me. Oh, God. Oof. Oh. Oh, my. Stella. For those of you counting at home, Oof, the way we do. Two, the Sky Lounge. Four before that. So that was six. Then we did seven somewhere. Eight, nine. I mean, maybe we're at 11 drinks. Maybe we're at nine drinks. I'm somewhere between nine and 11. If you're counting at home, I ain't doing the work to put a friggin' timer up. So this is a one, two, three, four, ah. Ah, ah, that's the count from uh, Sesame Street. Mm. All right, let's tell us down. Let's talk about the next bar with major cuts on celebrity. Oh. Look at this. I got another magic drink cart here. You know what? Celebrity knows how to booze cruise. They really, truly know how to boost Chris. My belly is full. But I want to talk about the next bar with major cuts. And there's so major, I don't even see a menu around anywhere. I'm looking for a Sunset Bar menu. We're at the Sunset Bar. It's in the back of the Ocean View Cafe. Gentlemen, can I borrow that menu real quick? Thank you very much. All right, Sunset Bar. So I did a drink the entire Sunset Bar on the Celebrity Reflection about a month and a half ago with Kirsten, my purple hair friend. And they had a bunch of different drinks. Uh, 
Now they have the Summertime Sangria, Pecker Funch, P.U.S. Cacri, Caliente, El Diablo, Sunset Pina Colada, Kentucky Mule, and Peach Mule, non-alcoholic. If you have a drink that's not alcoholic, you shouldn't have one. But the old menu, I'll show you. Marmalade Smash, Pickford Punch, Caliente, Bella Sera, uh -huh. Sunset Pina Colada, El Diablo, uh, Summertime Sangria, Kentucky Mule, Sangria Spitz, Viva Sangria, they've cut the menu in half. This is not just one menu. It's much like you saw me with the Gemini. They're still charging even more, even more this year for the beverage package. And what are they doing? They're charging even more and they're giving you even less. If you're watching this as a consumer, I'm wearing this shirt right now. It's got all the Spider-Mans pointing at each other. And you know, you might say, hey, I watched this drunk guy walk around here ships and critique stuff. And why, why, why? So I worked on cruise ships for seven years in a management perspective. Insert photo here in my, uh, in my driveway when it was cold outside in Miami and I had to wear my jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Click, photo click. I had all those stripes, yeah. I was a senior officer on ships and they had to please people. Now, on this ship, all they're doing is trying to appease people. And there's a, there's a difference between pleasing people and appeasing people. The staffing is minimal here. There's one guy walking in the sunset bar. I'm showing you this live. I'm not lying. I'm not making this up. Like, like thanks. So. Thank you, man. No, no, no. I am too. This, this, no, 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 please, please, please. You're a Spidey guy. I love Spider Man. Do you like the meme? Which one? This one? This meme. <laughs> when everybody points oh, at Oh, I didn't even know that's the meme. Oh, shit. So, I'm, I'm doing a video right now. Okay. So, let me ask you a question. Is this your first cruise or what is this? It is my first. So this is your first cruise. All right. Be honest with you. Celebrity is better than this. Significantly better than this. Isn't this celebrity? This is celebrity. They've decided to do massive cuts on this cruise. I know the line very well. That's literally the point I'm at right now. And why have they done massive cuts? Because they know everyone's gonna be drunk as fuck. You agree? Hold on, hold on. You agree with me? Yes. You've been on Celebrity before, right? I have, yes. They've cut the menus in fucking half in a lot of the venues. Like, you go to the Sky Lounge, remember they used to have 12 drinks there for each of the 12 astrological signs? What do they have now? Six. You know the Sunset Bar? Are you a Sunset Bar guy? No, I haven't been to the Sunset Bar, actually. The Sunset Bar used to have like 14 drinks. They just took a page out of the menu because fuck you, cost saving measures. Um, and all it is, is it's all the Spider-Mans pointing at each other. So I, I, again, I'm gonna be the only one on camera. I got guys left and right that understand. So celebrity, shit, where am I in this video? 62 minutes, we're good. Celebrity CEO got fired for watering down drinks. Did I say that out loud? Yeah, I was going to say it. Oops! I did. Not the bartenders, though. No, no, no. The CEO got fired for watering down drinks. None of the bartenders know that's true. But I do. Um, you seem like a seasoned... Uh... No, no, no. So much so. Are, are you on LinkedIn? Uh, I'm not, but she is. You, you know LinkedIn, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not putting her on video, but I'm going to show her something, right? I'm going to show her something. Does that not look like the post of someone who's desperate because they lost their job and they want a new job? Oh. That's the old CEO of Celebrity. Uh, yeah, she's basically talking about like, I'm sorry, but I had to, I had to take everything. They like pushed her towards a corporate governance role in the company and slowly pushed her out of the company. Uh, so how do you know all this? Are you, you do cruises all the time? Are you a Game of Thrones fan? Not, not Do you know enough that. about Game of Thrones? I, some names, police, some, I, some plot points. I drink and I know things. So we'll see what trivia. Hell no, you know why? Because old people always like to talk about what they think the right answer is to trivia. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie to you. I went, I went to a trivia on a ship. It was not celebrity. I actually was celebrity. I was on a celebrity ship two months ago and they said, what is the number one beer brand in the United States? 
And you know what they said the number one beer band in the United States? The number one beer in the United States. You know what they said it was two months ago? Two months ago. I want to say Budweiser. They said it was Bud Light. Bud Light has now gone to number 14 yeah. of the top beers in the U.S. Yeah, number 14 of the top beers That's in the U.S. A big drop. Because they didn't check their gender fluid. Well, that's yeah. what happens when you kind of... That's what happens. We'll just go with that's what happens. Pay attention to who your market is. Who your market is, yeah. Kid Rock blew up Bud Light, and a lot of people uh, shot up some Bud Light in the backyard. I'm not in love with Kid Rock, but... I'm not in love with Kid Rock either. <laughs> no one's in love with Kid Rock. There we go. I was going to say, if somebody's... But I think we all him. agree that Epstein didn't hang himself. That's another one. Well, hey, the names are coming out. They are. Maybe he did. <laughs> Hillary hung him. I wasn't saying it. I don't want to get caught. You don't want Hillary to kill you. I feel you. I'm moving away. I love you, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, Hillary killed him. I mean, what? Killery killed him. Killery. Killery Clintmon. Uh. You get a uh, caliente. Caliente. Yeah. So I ordered uh, one of the few drinks that's left on the menu here which is called the Caliente. Uh, I don't know if the 360 is recording anymore. I'm at the Sunset Bar, and uh, yeah, we've gone through the entire ship. Um, we're going to have to go to the cabin next. Uh, everything like that, but this is the Sunset Bar. The sun is still, uh, the sun's still pretty high in the sky for 3 o'clock. Uh, it's only 3 o'clock? God damn. It's only 3 o'clock. I ain't got dinner till 8.15. This tour's gonna take forever. Uh, I could turn around, look. Now I'm well lit. Now I'm not. But like I said, they've cut the menus and they think they can get away with it. Yeah. Before you go, what's your name? Richard. Richard, Richard no pants. That's how I'm known. Because I refuse to wear pants to the dining room. Fair enough. Ever. <laughs> and if it's formal night and old people want to scrap with me that their filet tastes different when I'm not wearing pants, you know what I tell them to do? I tell them to choke on a dick from a glory hole. Uh, the, the internet knows we found some glory holes earlier. Like, oh, we found, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, the, the glory holes have you gone to La Petite Chef? Do you know what La Petite Chef is? We you heard about it? You see, there's these holes that they've hidden the ceiling where the projectors come out from, but they totally look like glory holes. <laughs> There's just these little round circular holes. I told you he was the guy to ask. There's these little round circular holes. There's these little round circular holes. They're straight up glory holes. See, I can't be like this because the sun's bad on me if I'm not. True. But you know, so yes, I did. I worked for Celebrity for seven years. I watched oh, the, I watched the decline. <laughs> I watched the decline. The what? Uh, the my my non-disclosure agreement expired two years after I stopped working <laughs> for the company. And hi, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Sixty-seven minutes into the video. Now I make, yeah, so, so my, my travel agent, I'm, I'm telling this to the internet, my travel agent's uh, wife is my accountant. And she said, if you go on a cruise and you make a video on the cruise and the video goes on YouTube and it makes one penny, you can write off the entire cruise. Holy, now are you about to be a YouTuber? Oh I my think we God. Are. I think we are. Oh my God, do you have a business card or something? <laughs> I do, are you online right now? Uh, I we we're actually hold on, no, no. Wi-Fi. You got a phone? I do. Just take a picture of that. Perfect. Don't say the name out loud because I don't put my last name on the internet because people want to kill me. But you don't want to kill me, I don't think yet. Uh, Instagram on it? No, that's got email address. That's got you. The bottom one is my YouTube channel. Like no pants, no pants profits. I think between the two photos, I can get the rest. Got it. Well, definitely check out your channel. Here, wait. Just go. Just do it here. Huh. Then you don't get the. The random shade from everything. Oh wait, what is that? See That's the, like your phone light? doing. Yeah, it's uh, the. Uh... I don't even know what that is. I think it's just the screen doing it. It's like a it's screen. Right. That's close enough. I you got actually... it. All right. So yeah, for for those of you, I'm not giving I'm not giving you guys you guys in the camera my phone number, but uh, I, no pants profits at gmail.com if you want to shoot me an email. Uh, Man, trust me. And this is a 360 camera because I want people to be able to watch this uh, same video on their Apple glasses. So like when, when Apple glasses are a thing in like 
Maybe two years. Ten, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. two years. Two? Yeah, Remember, yeah, yeah. App, so like, are you an Apple or a Samsung person? Oh, Apple. What? Apple, absolutely. Okay, so I have, I have both. I have both. So I have my iPhone, which is in a case. You see this ca thick case? It's to kill a child. If there's a child around, like, like, let, look, they're not going on video for this because this is a dark joke. Uh, so if you got a school bus, right? It's got two empty seats in front and it goes over a cliff and everyone on board dies. What do you call that? A missed opportunity. Because you could have had two more kids on board. <laughs> I'm a nanny. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you. I'm still laughing. I got, I got, I got my, 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 this is the Google Pixel Fold. It's like a phone. It's a, no, 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 this is, you probably haven't seen this one. You've seen the Samsung one. The Google, the Google one's better because you can use it closed and it's useful. And then when you open it up, it's even more useful. The Samsung one, it is a lot less seamless. You see the bend in it on the other one. Okay, now he's talking about his penis. I love you, but. I didn't say which direction. <laughs> I know. I know. It's longer. So now we've got people that want to be YouTubers. And you know what? I welcome you because literally do your YouTube channel right off. You make one penny on the channel. You make one penny on a YouTube channel. You write off your vacations against it. Sorry. Tax law also. Hold on. For the internet, I'll tell you. What cars do you guys own? Subaru. Subaru. Next time you buy a car, get a G-Wagon. You might say, I wish I could. hold up, shut up, hold up for a second. Sorry, Open your one. LLC, get a G-Wagon. Do you know how much the lightest G-Wagon weighs? 6,001 pounds. And you might say, why is that important, right? Because if something weighs over 6,000 pounds, it's farm equipment, and you can write it off in one year. Do you know why all the rich people got G-Wagons? Write it off against your business in one year. No pants profits. You got my info. I, I dish this stuff on the internet all the time. All right. <laughs> Y'all know why you watch me. I love, I love the fact I cruise like every three or four weeks. Yeah, maybe 16 or so cruises a year. Um, and I teach people things. <sighs> I didn't have my Caliente Margarita yet. And we're about to go down to the cabin. Honestly, 360 camera needs a little, little charge, a little more battery. 72 minutes in, I'm cutting this video. For those of you that are still watching this, it's an hour and 12 minutes in. I have to ask this very important question. Why the fuck are you still here? Because you want to know how the Caliente Margarita is, if it's trash or not. It's okay. Who would have thought? But... Next, we're gonna get an elevator. It's the first time we're going down there. I want to invade people's privacy in an elevator. Oh, good God, and I'm way too drunk. Uh, 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 good God, where are we on 10? We're on eight. We can do two stairs. Turn, not in the half. Look. They got these creepy ass mermaids here. What did they even do downstairs yet? Holy crap. This is like the longest second no pants review ever. Those of you that are still here, thank you for your ad dollars. Uh, God damn. This went way too hard, way too fast. Oh, I want to show you the cabin because I know if I don't show you the cabin, I am going to pass the fuck out. Uh, man, where are we? Uh, eight. Yeah. Oh, there's a child there. Children should not be on celebrity cruises. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We talked about school buses with two empty seats on it. Yeah, we called that a missed opportunity. We're walking all the way forward on deck. Eight. We're on the right deck. Who would have thunk it? I want to see the cabin. Uh, I want to drink my Caliente. It's a good drink, but the drink menu's been cut in half. Uh, it's rough. It's rough. I've had some great cocktails made for me. 
Abraham or Hamilton or no, a couple Washingtons. We don't just leave one Washington. When I get a good drink, we'll leave an Abraham or Hamilton or a couple Washingtons. Some of you are like, this guy's just fat and doesn't have a right to have an opinion. Tell me another YouTuber that's gone drinking live for an hour and 25 minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to keep going. I don't care. I'm going to show you the cabin. Why? Because we're on deck eight. Uh, I don't want to break the seal. I don't want to be like Heidi Klum. Because you know what Heidi Klum did? Heidi Klum, she broke the seal. Pause for, pause for laughter. I don't want you to laugh, but pause for laughter. So we are in 8024. By the time you see this, we're off the ship, so it doesn't freaking matter. They are RFID room keys, so you don't have to worry about demagnetizing them. And here is the cabin del especial. <clears throat> Got two beds separated because hashtag no homo. I drank my gender fluid. Uh, checking this 360 camera. Got a little too hot. It did get a little too hot. So I guess we're going to... Hey there, 360 people! Those of you that are watching. <laughs> we're back in the cabin. We're going to continue this... Uh, Drinking debauchery back in the cabin. We got two beds, two single beds, and a holder for microphone. Important thing, you've got actual American plug outlets here. Do they look like they're jerry-rigged together? 150% they do. Uh, you only have, elsewise, one American plug, two USB-A ports, and one European plug, which I have an adapter. You're watching 76 minutes in. It does not make sense goes from that well crap can't plug an adapter now goes from that to that it doesn't make sense a little tiny chair here it's actually pretty refreshed pretty nice I feel I feel like every time I'm gonna turn on this light I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go electrocuted and they have switches back here for some reason the turn turn on or off everything well there we go. All right, cool. Uh, we got a microwave right here. It's not a microwave, it's a safe. There's a mini bar that unfortunately, unlike my last time on MSC Yacht Club, is not included, but we got two vitamin waters in there. Those are really expensive overall. We got a bathroom with a toilet. And a shower. I know what y'all are saying. Hey, can the fat guy fit in the... Oh, my button's open. Can the fat guy fit in the shower? Well, fuck around and find out. Can the fat guy fit in the shower? God, I can't get the button closed. God, hold up. Put up there. Hey, I don't have a double chin for once because they're going from above. Okay. Can the fat guy... With the backpack. <laughs> and the 360 camera fit in the shower. Yes. Can he leave the shower? Nobody knows. Let's see. Okay. Oh, oh I just got water all down my back. Why? Because I turned on the shower while leaving it. Good God. Bad idea. Don't do that. Still recording? Still recording? I really don't know. I do not know. All right, so we're on deck eight now. We did 12, 11, 10. Yeah, we are recording. You know what it's time to do? It's time to go to the other decks. But unfortunately, God damn, should I do it? You know what? No, no, I'm not going to do it. I really want to pee. I'm going to tell a joke for 1% of my subscribers right now. The rest of you are not going to get it. 
I really, really, oh God, hold on. That's my belly. This is a joke for literally 1%, less than 1% of my subscribers right now. I really want to pee, but there's no midget in a hole wearing snorkeling gear. 99.9% .9 of you won't understand that I'm making a donkey show joke. And you know what? For the 1% of you that understand that I'm making a donkey show joke, this one is for you. So, we did check 12, 11, 10. We gotta go down. I'm gonna do this straight. I think I should have the battery life of my microphone do this straight. If not, I'm gonna talk loud. We're going down to deck five. Again, deck six, seven, eight, nine. Those are passenger decks. Six, seven, eight, nine, passenger decks. By cabins, you saw the cabin. I showed you an inside cabin. That's what the casino gave me for a good price. The good price, the good price is a, uh, come on, nobody yell her, nobody yell her. Well, the good price is $3.99. Huh. There we go. So yeah, the casino provided that for the uh, nice price of $3.99. Then we're not gonna say that 150 people fit in the lifeboat and make them question life decisions. We don't do that. Because it literally fits 20 people in the elevator and 150 in the lifeboat. And it makes you question why these cruise lines lie to people about how fat Americans are. I'm one of them. Sorry, okay. Now we continue. Okay, we can talk loud again. Sorry. So, we're at the theater, uh, and the best show I saw in the theater in a long time has actually been the boy band project. Oh, shit, those people in the elevator were questioning why I was whispering to y'all. Uh, this is the theater, deck five and four, and remember like I said, all doors on cruise ships are not locked, so if you were to just conveniently go like that. Oops, we'll be in the theater for a second. I don't know why that happened. Well, we're back to the show today, but I want to insert some, uh, some videos from the boy band project here so you can see what's going on. Boy Band Project done. Let's go down to deck five, which is the uh, shops and, and uh, oh, I got a drink. I need another drink coming up. This is the shops. This is uh, Cafe El Baccio. This is the Gelateria. This is Sushi on Five. There's a lot of stuff up here, um, but you got shops. See, we got a shop right here. It's all kinds of different watches. Hello. And these all kinds of different watches are the saddest people on board. You might say, wah, 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 wah. Why are the saddest people on board? Because there's this thing, it's not that new. It's called the Apple Watch. It makes all these other watches irrelevant. Uh, those of you that are watching, people who have money don't buy expensive things. People who have money buy cheap shit and put their money in assets. All of these brands, like Kate Spade, like, I was gonna say MILF, Mary Frances, like Guess, they're all for poor people to feel rich. I 
you know the shops don't want me telling you this, but all these brands are designed for poor people to feel like they have money. Rich people <laughs> wear Hawaiian shirts with Spider-Man pointing at each other and shorts that say NASA on it <laughs> that they bought at Burlington Coat Factory for $4. Because people with money don't give a fuck what other people think about them. Well, that's, that, that's my boys from Sushi on 5. They make good, they make good sushi. We're going to talk about that later. No, you can make good food. Good food, good food, good food. Good food. We'll get to Sushi on 5 in a few minutes. Let them boys make good food. But again, people who have money put their money into assets, not into garbage that you buy from the gift shop. Sorry. So, some of you have questions for many, 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 many years. Hey, no pants. We're an hour and 25 minutes in. What does no pants actually do on ships when he worked back in the day? Well, no pants at, whoa. No Pants actually uh, did something called uh, well, Celebrity Eye Lounge, Celebrity Innovations. Putting my mask up a little bit. And it's a little gift shop on board that sold the internet, that sold watches, app, well, that, hold on. I need to use my bunny ears right now. That sells Apple Watches when they can get a hold of them. That sells the latest up-to-date thing they have that's still up-to-date is the iPad Mini, because Apple hasn't updated the iPad Mini in many, many, many years, so. I think that's the only up-to-date thing in this shop you're about to see. That's the truth. It's actual. Everything is satisfactual. One day I'll tell the whole story, but this is the Celebrity Eye Lounge slash Celebrity Innovation Store. On some ships, my picture is still on the wall. Why? Because they don't have the money to change it. Uh, but <laughs> you'll see um, that iPad's about seven years old. That MacBook's about five years old. That Apple Watch is Gen 2 SE. Why do I know these things? I don't know. I'm not throwing anyone under the bus that works here. I'm just saying celebrity needs to do a better job in what they're doing. Um, MacBook Pro, we're on the M3 now. We've got M1s. <sighs> Someone thinks Dr. Fauci still has power. Um, that was a joke, but not a joke. Because we're 90 minutes into this video. And those of you that have watched 90 minutes and are like, this guy talked about glory holes and this and that. Why is this guy going on for this time? You know why? Because I haven't finished my drink yet. Now, I made a short earlier in the cruise. I'm talking about what I'm going to talk about. This is Cafe Albaccio. They have a bunch of snacks and stuff. Now, there was a time back in the day one of these snacks used to be really good. I'm not gonna lie. Now, they're trash. They're trash. They're trash. Did I say that out loud enough? I don't know if they're just trash on this ship, but as you learned earlier, God, if you're watching 60 minutes ago, the trash is rolling out to everyone. If you have a drink package, premium drink package, anything like that, you can get drinks here. Now, I showed people the other night, I like hot chocolate. And I don't like a normal hot chocolate. I don't like coffee. My cabin mate doesn't understand. Or I don't like coffee. But I still like me a hot chocolate with Baileys. I know. Right. Uh, so. I'm going to finish this drink. I'm going to get me... I'm gonna get me a hot chocolate with Bailey's, but everything I've had in this counter, in this cup, uh, hot chocolate with uh, Bailey's. Hot chocolate with Bailey's. Thank you. Everything I've had in there, that snack cabinet, unlike Carnival, uh, that snack cabinet, it's all included. Yup. Yeah. No pants profits. No pants profits. Because I wear no pants and I teach people how to make money. <laughs> I teach people how to make money. Ah. And my favorite thing, you know the dining room, they say you have to wear pants? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you, but I'm not going to show the internet because I don't like showing my last name on the internet. I'm, I'm, oh, thank you. I'm a minister mm -hmm. of my the mom, Church of... The yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'm the minister of the Church of the Science Spaghetti Monster. <gasps> and I'm going to write people religious exemptions. 
Chile can only wear pants when it's cold outside and for religious purposes. And then you go to the cruise line and you say, they go, they go, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My minister says, my minister says, I have to piss up the old people, eat all the lobster and filet mignon I like while wearing shorts. There it is. It's not no, a bad idea. It's not that a bad idea, is it? That so yeah, I was showing her. I'm actually a legitimate minister. Oh, it started as a financial channel because I had a handyman, mm. right? And he goes, he goes, how do you make money and you sit home and you never put on pants? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Shaggy. How'd this happen? He's like, he's like, he's like, you wear no pants and you make money. I go, it's a good name for a YouTube channel. Then, then the, what I'm about to say right now, these people are agreeing with my left. They're not going to agree in the next eight seconds. Then, no, 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 the next eight seconds, you're about to disagree with me. Okay. Then the wrong president was selected. I didn't say elected. I believe that the, 26, the 2020 election was not an election. It was a selection. Uh, it was a crazy year, and my favorite holiday was yesterday. Are you familiar with my favorite holiday? No! No, January 6th, Insurrection Day. The day that people fake stormed the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, look, look. In the end of the day, we 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 all look. Uh, we we all love each other. Like like we we all good. Like peace yeah, and love, peace and love. Come I'm in. here for it but, all. But nobody voted for Biden. They just voted against Trump. Yeah, honestly, I mean, <laughs> no. And, and look, look. In the end of the day, you guys are the same color, I sir. Love. Nobody likes Kamala. <laughs> 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 Nobody actually yeah. likes Kamala. <laughs> I, I got a question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, how do you like that uh, 360 camera? I love it. The Insta360 is amazing. So is that, which one, which version is Insta360, the one inch. The one inch? This I, is have the, the, I have the X3. The X3 is garbage compared to the one inch in low light. In low that. light. In low light. In low light. But here's the important thing I want to tell you. If you're going to do audio, mm -hmm. make sure you have a mic that's recording externally. Because so, the mic is trash. Yeah, the internal mic. So I DJ. And, yep. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna show you one of the. No, please, please, this please. This is one of the things we did. I mean, we, we went ATV. And so I mean, like. You have the X3. Yeah, the X3. The so, problem is the X3 is great in full light. The you second you get to anything low light. Like where is it at? Like, something like this. I was like, I was trying to catch the, the dinner moment, and it's like. So the best thing. It's so gonna tell you the best thing. The X3 is modular. So you have the battery pack. No, not the X3, the, the one inch. You have the battery pack, you have the control unit, and you have the lens. You can change the lens if they get a new lens on the on the one inch. So it, it all separates. I had the X3. Now there's only one problem with the one inch. The one inch is not waterproof. Just for all y'all watching, the one inch does not have any water seals on it. So keep the X3 as well if you want to do some waterproof stuff. But the one inch, the one inch for low light, for overall quality, you're shooting a 6K image on the one inch. You're shooting like three and a half on the X3. I had the X3. So how much is the one inch, you don't mind me asking? About 750. Okay. About 750 for the one inch, but keyword, you have to get a very high-end SD card because it has to be able to record at the highest speed because it's shooting 6K. So you throw in anything that's like a... Lower Something than that. like if if, if like you throw in anything other than the high, it's a 512 gig SD card. Like it's beautiful. I love it. Internet. I'm sorry. I'm shooting some stuff for the Apple Vision. Yeah. The, so that's eventually gonna be on the Apple Vision, and that's the, but the one inch. It's worth every penny. Thank you. Cause I would have never known. The one inch. I have. I have the X3. I love. The, do you, have you felt the selfie pole yet? The good one. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> You have you have the selfie pole. You have the old one, right? Yeah, yeah I got the old one. All right, for the internet. Here. Let your girl wait for your drink. We're going to show them the rest of the ship. Feel the balance on this selfie pole. Feel how much this doesn't weigh. It's carbon fiber. I'm not going to lie. It's a $200 selfie pole. But no, I mean, shoot, price-wise... Imagine the but shots, that is, imagine that is the shots you can oh get no, it, though. not imagine. I have those shots. The shots are crazy. But like already... this pole weighs nothing. It's that's it's crazy. full carbon fiber. 
And then yeah. like what I do is I shoot a flat video yeah. and then I shoot a 360 and I just literally put that in my backpack yeah. and merge the audio over from the flat video into the 360. And then I have two videos for the price oh, of one. Here, do, do yourself a favor. I don't show this all to the internet. Mm -hmm. Just take a, take a picture there. Okay. That's like, that's my channel, but it's also like my personal text message. Okay. Again, and my last name, which I don't show to people, but yeah. shoot me a message if you got any questions about it. Okay. But that's the way to do it. Oh uh, crap, the problem is I have two drinks and one camera, so I have to down one drink. Shout out, shout out. Mm. You don't understand. You know, have you been drinking all day? Yesterday. Yesterday, it, it had. I bring a breathalyzer. Wow. <laughs> see where you at. <laughs> where <my laughs> see how drunk you are. <laughs> I'm 94 minutes straight in. When I do my YouTube videos, I do them straight. Yeah. Now, why do I do them straight? Because I don't want to lie to people. Yeah. I tell people how long the lines are, exactly. I, and no one does that. Exactly. No, they but my favorite thing, do you guys like kids? No. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I got a riddle for you. I got a riddle for you, okay? You got a school bus. I already did this in this video, but I don't care. You got a school bus, right? They already dropped two kids off, right? And they go off a cliff. Everybody on board dies. What do you call that? A missed opportunity. I ain't gonna lie, wait. There's two more kids that could have been on that bus. Okay. <laughs> I, mi I missed that one. No, literally, I missed that one. <laughs> okay, I'll give you. I'll give you. One, I'll give you one more riddle. This okay. is when I gave the guys up on the pool bar. Oh, I'm not already at point two zero. But I ain't driving the ship. I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing a captain's hat or shit like that. Captains ever drive the ship. All right. What do poor people have? Rich people need. And if you eat it, you'll die. I was gonna say something. Nothing's coming to mind. Nah. Nothing at all? I was gonna say, it don't make sense, but crap. No. <laughs> it's not something illegal. Okay. What do poor people have? Look, money, if you, I mean, technically, if you eat money, you'll get good fiber in your diet and you'll shit it out real quick. Yeah. There's a lot, so, like, so, like, here's what's funny. Look, look. I'm gonna give my new friends I just met. What? They're, they're not gonna know what's coming. Because none of y'all know what's coming that's watching this. I'm gonna give my new friends $100. <laughs> that is so adorable. That is miniature. We got, we got them blue bingies on deck, the miniature ones. Man. Hey, I'm about to go hit the casino. See, they, I tried I'm about that. to get the casino, man. I know. So what do poor... Do, is there oh. nothing coming to mind? Nothing that poor people have. Rich people need. And if you eat it, you'll die. Nothing is coming to mind at all. I feel like this is like so obvious. Honestly, it's one of those probably like writing. Nothing's face. coming to your head, like like nothing at all. Like, are you giving me a hit? Nothing at all is coming to mind. What do poor people have? Nothing. What do rich people need? Nothing. And if you eat what, you're gonna die. Nothing. <laughs> For the channel, what's your what's your first name? Uh, D'Angelo. We got D'Angelo. Oh, sorry, sorry, swap hands. <laughs> I'm no. India, India. That's, that's what he does when you're not around. He swaps hands to make it feel like someone else is doing it. You heard the phrase, it'll never replace the real thing. Let me ask a question. Is this your first cruise? It's second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I like to, because I have an opinion on this cruise, but I've been on 153, four, 500 cruises since you worked for the company. Second cruise, what was your first cruise on? Uh, mine was on Carnival. All right. I love Carnival. Yeah, yeah. All right. In my opinion, mm -hmm. this is the review that's not supposed to come out right now. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, the only thing Carnival does worse than Celebrity mm -hmm. is they only give you 15 drinks a day. Oh, Do you yeah, agree? Yeah. Well, actually, I was young. I was like 18 when I was on this. I would, I had no clue. I had no clue. So I was, really? I was enjoying the vibe of a teen back then. I was enjoying the vibe of the so teen. So I love Carnival. Yeah. That's so the Carnival. You know the Celebration, the new cruise mm -hmm. ship. It's actually my favorite ship in the world. Okay. I'm flying out at the end of this month to Jubilee. What ship were you on? Do you know what Carnival ship you were on when you were 18? Is it Independence or No, no, that's Royal. Oh, that's, that's Royal. Yeah, Try again. JK, JK. JK, JK. I, I don't even remember it. I don't remember it. But you like Carnival more back in the day? Yeah, back in the day because it had... Because you remember cause it. Because you, you, you could go anywhere. It was like so big and it had a lot of stuff for you to do and interact with. And this is a booze cruise. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, in the end of the day, you guys have the drink package, right? Yeah, yeah. 
And here's the funny thing, the drink package costs more than it costs you to get on board the ship, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, literally. Minus taxes and port fees, of course. But the drink package costs, so that's what I tell people, I say, why do you call us a booze cruise when the drink package costs more than it costs you to get on the ship? Come on, you know what they're going for. Yeah. But deep down, I love Carnival. Yeah, yeah. You know, because like, Carnival's newest ships. And like, I say this on the channel all the time, and I say this literally for no hate, because I'm sitting, like, they built a bar that focuses on Hennessy and Cognac, mm -hmm. okay? And you know who's going to that bar. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to a craft beer bar? No. Nah. Uh, Fuck that. I'm gonna go. <laughs> My white ass is going to the craft beer bar, and you guys are going to the Hennessy bar, and I say that with no hate, no love, no, no hate, anything like that. Like, but Carnival's done a good job, because they're providing for every audience. That's the important thing. I always tell people, I'm like, if Carnival provides for every audience, they're gonna win the game. Tell them, and they win the game. Definitely. Are you a gambler? No. You don't play in the casino? No, I, I do, I do. I, she, she keep talking me out of playing some more games than I have, but I love, I love, uh, I love gambling. I'm a gambler. Show me an email, privately. You have my email address. Okay. Right, I'm, I, I'm gonna hook him up. Right, I'm gonna hook you. Shoot me an email in a few days. All right. You know, no pants profits. You might say, no pants profits says that we love everyone, but no pants profits. We do interviews, we do chats. Hey yo, Hello. we do all that with everyone. And for some reason, they have like little murder chairs on this ship. Like that woman's getting, woman, man, tiny person. They're getting executed right now. I don't know why they're getting executed. So this is Cellar Masters, this is the wine bar. We'll talk about what changed here. Um, but I have a hot chocolate. Trust me, this ain't a hot chocolate alone. It's a hot chocolate with Baileys. <laughs> God damn. We're 106 minutes into this video. I don't think it's gonna last this long. I wanna show you one of the, the places that's like untouched on board. Yoshi Okada. He's a good friend of mine. And he is a multi-star. We'll just call him multi-star. I don't know if he has one. He has two, at least two. Michelin chef. And he was hired by a celebrity to make Sushi on Five. And Sushi on Five is fantabulous. I made a whole video on Sushi on Five. Their cocktails are on point. Uh, Kim, Kim Savon, my friend, who used to work on ships with me, and two people who used to work on Celebrity are sailing on a cruise at the same time as passengers. It's really weird. Sometimes, Random numbers work, but uh, Kim is actually sailing on this ship right now. And uh, uh, she told me, you gotta go sushi on five. You gotta have a drink of sushi on five. And I didn't have one drink. I had all the drinks at sushi on five. But day one of this cruise, I was sitting right here at Cellar Masters, which it used to be a wine bar. It had enigmatic wine machines and everything like that. And I said, when the emergency alarm is going off here, you gotta have a drink. And I mean, I'm not a drink, a shot. And I was like, gotta have a shot. And I asked for uh, Terramana and da, 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 da. And we eventually came to Ghost, which is a ghost pepper tequila. So, while we're here, we're at the Cellar Masters. I think it's time to have a shot of Ghost. It's like Ghost Pepper Tequila. Again, this has Billy's in it. And it's a little milky. So, um, if the Ghost Pepper burns too much, my mom says alcohol is a problem. I tell her alcohol is a solution. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so I'm looking to get a shot of Ghost Chilled. I bring you this in real time, because we're almost two hours in. And uh, I'm showing you this, like I haven't stopped the video even once. Why, I've stopped the 360 video, why? Because the camera gets hot and stuff like that. I, I can't I can't help that, it's on my back. But um, I'm showing you. We're gonna make it down to the martini bar. We're gonna make it down to the casino. 
we're gonna make it all these places why because i got like an extra battery handle that's on this camera now you might say the extra battery candle handle is now dead that thing is dead what do i call that i mean as far as uh, prosecutors are concerned that's called jeffrey epstein but you know jeffrey epstein's not really dead he didn't hang himself why am I going here? Because the Epstein docs got released the day before this cruise. Um, let's see. I mean, there's literally no bartenders here right now. I'm sitting at an empty bar. You might say, oh, I'm trying to trick you. I'm trying to this. I mean, I'm, I'm showing you this in real time. We're an hour and four minutes in. We haven't stopped. I don't even know what we have left. We should have time left. Uh, we have five, four... Can I get some, uh, can I get a shot of ghost, uh, chilled? Thank you, bud. It's a ghost. It's a ghost pepper tequila. Is this the smartest idea to have 104 minutes into this? No, it's not. Do I care? Nah, not really. Eh, camera's dead. 360 camera's like, we good. A flat camera's like, I don't know. 360 camera's totally dead. That's why I have the flat camera. This is the uh, Insta360. And, uh, all right, we got a shot of Ghost. Nice and chilled. That is uh, ghost tequila, ghost pepper, right? That's, ghost pepper oh, ghost pepper tequila. And we've got uh, Carlos from Ecuador. You need us on live, though? Sure. Carlos from Ecuador has got the ghost, ghost pepper tequila. Yeah, Carlos from Ecuador. We got some lime. Why do I do this to myself? Why are you watching a two-hour movie of a guy getting drunk on a cruise ship and giving a review? Oh, gosh. No. That's not a straight shooter. Good God. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's good. Good. Oh. Spicy. It's very spicy. Well, that's why I brought my uh, hot chocolate with Bailey's in it to cut it down. So is that stuff as nasty as it sounds? The ghost? Yeah. It's not that bad. I can't drink any more of that. Oh, God. Oh. Ghost. 360 people have now fallen off. As Eric Ida would say, they have ceased to be. So we're now in the back of the ship. I think we started at the front of the ship like a half an hour ago. We got into conversations with people, show the theater, things like that. This is the big seating dining room. It's both at old people time. Oh God, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> it's both the old people time as well as normal time. Um, and for some reason, the dining room chairs all look like penises. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. Does that not look like a penis right it there? This it does. Do? Yes. Say, it does look like a penis. It looks like a penis. It looks like a penis. But you know what's even funnier? You know behind this door there's escalators? Yeah. And you know the door's open, right? Yeah. And you know I'm going to ride. Don't come back here. Don't come back here. Uh -oh. Guys. <laughs> there's escalators. They're not working right now. I told the normal people not to come back here. What's your YouTube? No Pants Profits. 
But these escalators connect all the dining room levels. Have a good one. <laughs> and I see them always running because there's normally just elevators. I told the people behind me, don't go back here because they're not going to kick me off the ship. I just went back. The escalators weren't working. It made me very sad. Um, we're in deck five. This is the fixed seating dining room. I think at 5.30 and 8, 15 or something like that. Those are the fixed dining times. There's no pants profits. Like profits like money, not like Jesus. All right. So you see we've got uh, this is deck four. This is the normal dining room. Whew. Normal dining room right here. And this is for, they turn this three times a night, come kind of any time. We use a setback at the window, but it's already dark, so we can't see shit. But for some reason, yes, I'm dead serious. Look, all those dining room tables there, they look like penises. And those of you think, they don't look like penises. You're wrong. And they're also ribbed for her pleasure. God damn, I have to pee so much but I don't want to pee because I don't want you to hear me pee on video. Uh, look, that's a double dick. It's like a double dick gangbang. Um, God damn, for those of you watching almost two hours in, I love you, but like, why do they shape the chairs like penises in this dining room? I do not know. I do not know. Oh God. These are not running either. There's more escalators. They have been turned on. Look, when you drink this much, you're like, there's an escalator. I, am I walking into a crew area? Look, yes, I am. But I take two steps out, two steps back. I realize I'm a bad boy and I continue on. This is for the, if you want to come and you want to be an old person and you, oh God, I farted, sorry. And you want to eat right away. You gotta wait in line here. They give you a buzzer and everything. We don't come till right before nine and eat. But you see, well, gentlemen, you must wear pants with a sport shirt that has sleeves. They're not talking like sleeves like this. They're talking sleeves like not a wife beater. We're on a booze cruise. The first night, I came in shorts. The second night, I wore pants because it was the, I need a hand, formal night on board. And then the third night, I, um, Wore shorts. And the fourth night, fuck that. I'm going to La Petite Chef. Uh, but we've got a whole bar right here. There we go. Got a whole bar right here. This is where they do activities and stuff in the evening. This is the Rendezvous Lounge. The Sky Lounge is a little bit too high to filter people to between dinner and the show or the show and dinner. So this is, the, this is designed to catch people between dinner and the show. They do game shows. Trivia, different things here. The bar menu here has also been cut down considerably, but I mean, I don't really have anything to compare it to. I just looked at the menu before and I was like, hey, I'm gonna do a drink challenge here. And guess what? I'm not. I mean, there's literally a flat screen TV pressed against the wall for those of you watching. Um, problem is I still have hot chocolate here. God, I'm holding it in so much, so much. This has been a straight video. I'm not peed, peed, pooed, anything like that. Oh, that's good. My go-to drink in the morning is a Bailey's. Not chocolate. I know. Wait, there's like teams at the martini bar. Someone at the martini bar. They're starting something in two minutes time. I don't know what's starting in two minutes time. It said something in the martini bar is starting in two minutes time. Do I know what's starting in two minutes time in the martini bar? No, <coughs> I don't. So let's start with the martini bar. I'm not gonna lie. I was on the Celebrity Reflection two months ago. I can't fake this. You can look back at my channel. The martinis here for the Celebrity Reflection are awful, awful, awful. 
awful. This is a guy who like literally two months ago I, I licked the bar. I'm not staying down long enough. But two months ago I did. I did. I licked the bar. I left blood behind and everything. We're not doing that. Uh, we're, we're almost uh, two hours into this. The drinks here at the Martini Bar on the Celebrity Summit are awful. Are they using less different ingredients, stuff like that? I ranked all the drinks. I tried to drink my top four drinks here. They haven't cut the menu here yet, but they're awful. But for example, an espresso martini now is batched. Multiple different types of martinis here are batched. When you batch drinks, you know what you've done? You've given up on the quality of those drinks. When you batch drinks, you've given up on the quality of those drinks. Martini bar is the only upsell that celebrity still has to upsell from the classics of the premium beverage package. They charge you $10 more per day plus uh, gratuity. So, you know, they're charging you $12 more a day, probably more on these shorter cruises. Who the fuck knows? I have the premium package, but they're charging you for the martini bar. And I'm not gonna lie, the drinks in the martini bar were awful. Yeah, awful. You didn't hear me say that two months ago when I was on Celebrity Reflection. Did I say they were awful? No. I drank them all. I ranked them. I put them in rank order. I put them in everything like that. I did not say they are awful. But these drinks, god damn. These drinks in the martini bar on this ship are god, 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 god awful. I've ranked it. I've done everything. I know. Maybe they're putting shit in your mixers. Maybe they're putting shit in your liquors. They're like, you have to ask for liquor by the name. No, I don't fucking have to ask by liquor by the name. This is the martini bar. It's a frozen bar. Again, oh, I don't want to stick here. Nope. We good. I didn't stick. My tongue's still far too warm to stick here. But the martini bar? Look, for someone to say the celebrity cruises martini bar is awful it's it's a big fucking statement but i also have to know the celebrity cruises martini bar well i worked on celebrity for seven years i drank it should i say this out loud i drank the martini bar almost every single night i was a senior officer on board um it's awful it's truly awful uh now we're, we're going back to my shirt who do we blame here? I don't know. Do you blame Lisa? Do you blame the head of FMB in the office? Do you blame the, like, who do you blame? It's all the Spider-Mans pointing at each other. I like celebrity, but like, you've seen me. For the last hour and a half, uh, two hours, sorry, said hour and a half, I have been drinking bottled beers. Because generally, the cocktails they have on their menu are awful. Unless you specify, you order, you let the bartender decide, because the bartenders know what doesn't taste like shit. Half the menu's gone from the uh, Sky Lounge. Half the menu's gone from the Sunset Bar. I think the menu's fucked at the Martini Bar. They didn't actually remove anything, but I, I truly, and they're, they're literally playing, why are we playing bocce inside? What the actual fuck? Like, why are we playing bocce inside in the passageway between the two casino entrances? Okay, no one's rolling right now. Who the fuck thought this was a good idea? You need a lawn. Lawn. They're literally right. playing. Yes. They're literally playing bocce inside between two bars. Oh shit! God damn. So the next place I'm showing, I can only show me. I've been in here a lot of the time. It is the casino. I can only show me. I'm only going to show me. I'm not getting in trouble by showing anyone else in the casino. I'm walking through the casino. I'm going as quick as I can. I've done a whole tour of the casino while it's closed. And we're just going to walk, 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 walk. Look, it's just me. I'm going to walk, 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 walk. Walk, walk, right through the casino. Nobody sees me, nobody sees them. We don't have much left.
here's a kind of cool fact. So, are, is anyone of you here familiar with the, we're through the casino, the SS Normandy? That, well, the Britannia was the technical uh, sister ship to the Titanic. But this was White Star Line. And this is on this ship, this is actually stuff from the SS Normandy. Kind of cool. Uh, I like to show that. We got two more places left. At the art gallery, photo gallery, particularly Michael's Club. Um, so you got, here's the art gallery. Ooh, it's an art gallery. Cool. Uh, they sell, I like to call them penis embellished clays. We're two hours in. If anybody here from the art gallery is watching, I'm two hours in. God knows how many drinks in. Um, the artist just takes paint, puts it on their dick, and puts it on a photocopy. I'm not saying any specific artists, but if you buy from Park West, you're getting scammed. There's a reason they don't exist in the United States. They are a fucking scam. And I will fight with any Park West person. You know why? Because they know it's a fucking scam. I've called this out on multiple ships before. Park West is a fucking scam. Their art is not worth the dog shit that's in your backyard. Uh, I don't care. Oh, handsome Ron. Yeah. I know. Okay, you know, that's not handsome Dan. It's handsome Ron. There's nobody from art here, right? Do you see anyone from art? Is there anyone of this employee other than handsome Ron here? If you take dog shit and you smear it on a piece of paper, that dog shit is worth more than anything you buy from Park West. Park West is legitimately, honestly, human dog shit. There's a reason they can't sell in the US. <laughs> There's a reason they only sell in international waters. Park West is the equivalent of human dog shit. Uh, I don't care. Prove me different. Sell in the US, be a legitimate company. Park West is a fucking Ponzi scheme. Sorry, okay, so let's talk about one more thing on board. When I used to work on board, I was the guy that was in charge of the eye lounge. I'm gonna tell you something simple. When the COVID happened, when COVID happened, the Fauci, ouchie, whatever you wanna call it, the photo department on cruise ships died. The photo department on cruise ships died like the old people who got COVID. Shit, did I say that? Yeah, I did. It's two hours in. Um, and all the cruise ships had to struggle and make their own photo department. This is it. They don't print photos anymore, even on an old ship or anything like that. This is merged with the internet department on board. The internet on board, dog poo poo. But I'll have another video about that. They also have like a private photo studio. Hey, look, you wanna do the private photo studio? You're starting at six to $800 right here to get a private photo. Six to $800 right here. Ooh, I spilled some hot chocolate on myself. Um, but, uh, that's deck four. We have one more. Oh, God damn it. I drank too much. We have one more deck. One more deck. We're going out of deck three. All sound here is guest services, store excursions, and maybe a potty when I finish this video. I've been going for one hour, 22 minutes, 17 seconds, plus the intro. It's like one hour, 22 minutes, and 30 seconds right here. We're at the cabins on deck three. You've got to your right. You got inside cabins. You got to your left. Window cabins. You got right here. A guy that can't even walk in a friggin' straight line. Oh, God damn it. Um, is this a bad idea? Yeah, I have nothing bad to say about deck three, but I gotta cool this out here. I drink my Baileys. I gotta drink my, uh, not Baileys. It's hot chocolate, primarily, not Baileys. I don't know if we drink too bad in this video. Unfortunately, like the Solstice class ships, they don't actually have a bar down here, but I guess, I, mean, I don't think they do. I'm really surprised. I don't think they have a bar down here on deck three. Like the Solstice class ships. But uh, we've got 
concierge, guest services, staircase, all that fun stuff like that. Here's the staircase to go from four to three. Here's guest services. I don't think I've been here once the entire time. It says Crystal Trafalos is the captain. No, hold on. Look at me. You look at me. I, I am the captain now. I am the captain now. Shore excursion desk. We've got over here, guest services desk. It's a promoting Starlink, trust me. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a later video. Concierge desk. And you've got the internet cafe promoting your digital photos. Because why the fuck not? The same company now. These computers are worthless. The internet is worthless. And I think this is a good place to stop. We've seen the whole ship. We've seen the top decks. We've seen the cabin. We've seen the bottom decks. We've seen it all. We're one hour, 24 minutes, and 37 seconds in. And I'm not gonna lie, I gotta pee. I don't know how many shots, drinks, things I've done. For those of you counting at home, Mm. It's empty. There's a potential, you know. Um, so we're at. Before we close up, mostly hot chocolate. Warming up. Oh, we got a bit of time. Uh, 11, 10. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta blow before I say this. Sorry. I'm gonna tell you the truth. We don't know yet. We will soon. I was sober at the beginning of this, 125 minutes ago, and the pool deck. Right now, I don't know. Point. That's asinine, bro. What? That's a high blood alcohol. Oh, hold on. What's it gonna say? 13 hours and 35 minutes until sober. Yeah. Says you may yeah, soon. Good experience, nausea, oh, and feelings of melancholy. Is that coming in? Feelings. You remember when I motorboarded that girl in her armpit? You weren't there for that. I was not there for that. I didn't want to do her titties on TV. <laughs> but uh, I motorboarded that girl in her armpit. <laughs> hey, there is a basketball challenge at 4.30. Go, 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 go. Where should I link up with you, though? That way I'll be in the cabin. I'm fast the fuck the out. I'm going to pass out. Yeah. <laughs> you going to be all right? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> all right, brother. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm older one of that girl. Um, but in her armpit. Let me sum it up. Those of you that are long time watchers of the can channel, you'll be treated far better to better food, better drinks, better everything on any Carnival cruise ship. You know why? Because Carnival knows the value of their passengers. If you're watching for two hours and six minutes, you're gonna get cheaper on a Carnival Cruise. You're gonna get a cheaper Carnival Beverage Package. Celebrity? This is not celebrity. What you're sailing on right now? Shit, my hands are all sticky. A celebrity's version of Carnival. And as much as, look, I'm gonna go with a comedian, they're gonna shit on Carnival. So the end of the night, 10.15 tonight, it's literally 12, uh, 4, 4.12. 10.15 tonight, there's going to be a comedian that's going to shit on Carnival. And I think Carnival ship is better than this. We don't know. MSC ship is literally coming up in mm, 15 hours or so. We'll get on the MSC ship. Uh, we're going on the MSC Magnifica. But this is dog shit. This is not celebrity. This is Carnival. Worse than Carnival. Holy shit. A celebrity booze cruise is worse than Carnival. Did you ever expect these words to come out of my mouth? I don't hold any, any hate towards celebrity. I think they're in those trash. I think their cocktail selection via their menu, they've cut down, they think they're gonna get away with it. It's like Spider-Man. Look, all the Spider-Man point at each other and they wanna see who's, who's there. 
and you know you have to ask the business question why 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 because it's just a booze cruise and fuck you passengers they don't care a four-day five-day cruise they just want to make money if you're watching this as a passenger be honest with you honest honest with you if you're not going to drink more than 15 drinks a day sailing carnival it's true I did a six day carnival booze cruise on the paradise. It was better than this. The food was better than this. The drinks were better than this. I, I think that a carnival booze cruise is significantly better than a celebrity booze cruise. And just like I said, fucking goddamn, an hour and 10 minutes, uh, two hours and 10 minutes ago. When I was at the caution tape, I've not cut this the entire time. Save your fucking money. Go on Carnival instead. Play in their casino. Play $100, $200, $300, $400 on, on uh, Wheel of Fortune. Don't pay for your Carnival cruise again for your next three cruises. I, I can't tell you to honestly sail on this cruise line for this cruise for what they're charging. It's literally not worth it. I'm sorry. This is Richard from No Pants Profits coming to you from the, so look, I, I want to say Carnival Summit, but the Carnival Summit will be a far better ship <laughs> coming to you from the Celebrity Summit, telling you honestly, truthfully, you've been through this. You've talked to people. You've ta heard, go on Royal. You've heard, go on anything else. Don't come on the Celebrity Summit. It's a garbage pile. Did I get drunk while I was here? Does the Pope touch kids? Did Jeffrey Epstein not kill himself? I got drunk. But did I enjoy it as much as Carnival? No. Go on the Paradise. Go on the, uh, go on the, uh, go, on, go on the Carnival ships, the short uh, conquests. Go on these carnival ships, because they're better than anything a celebrity offers. And celebrity poo-poo shits on carnival? I think carnival actually has better food. We're in the dining room. Lunch was far better than dinner every single night. You know why? Because lunch, they don't change the menu for the booze cruises. Dinner, they do. This is Richard. No pants profits. God knows how many drinks in. Reminding you that when you wear no pants, from the carnival, not carnival, God damn it. The celebrity is summoned. There's only one thing you have to lose. And one hour, uh, two hours, 10 minutes in, the only thing you have to lose, god damn, is the seal on your penis keeping you from peeing after all those drinks. But uh, realistically, the only thing you have to lose when you drink 14, 15, 16 drinks on celebrity is your shirt. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments below. Private questions. No pants travels at gmail.com. You got any questions? Totally open to it. But honestly, sell anything else on a booze cruise before celebrity. Because celebrity has no fucking clue how to actually do a booze cruise. My buddy here, he doesn't know yet. I don't do you? I do not. You haven't sailed on MSC yet. But when are we getting on MSC? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And I'm taking on Carnival Celebration. Everybody, look. I call her Tig Old Biddies. There was this girl I met. I wanted to motorboat her tits, okay? Yeah. Look, that's the truth. But we were in public. Yeah. I only motorboat in pri semi private. I only motorboat on short videos. Long videos, you can't put your hand on some titties. But um, she wanted it. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, just go on Carnival if you want a booze cruise. Celebrity booze cruises are dog shit. Uh, and I'm not sure if MSC is any better. But guess what? Y'all gotta follow along your seat. It's Richard from No Pants Profits, reminding you that we're in no pants. The only thing y'all have to lose is. Profit? God damn it. This guy hasn't learned it. <laughs> not scripted. If you're wearing no pants, right? Yes. And you're wearing a shirt, what's all you have left to lose? Your shirt. There we go. He gets it when you're wearing no pants. The only thing y'all have to lose is your shirt from the Celebrity Summit. Sailing back to Miami. This is Richard from No Pants Profits saying. Love y'all and god damn, two hours and 
freaking 13 minutes in. Why did this last so long? Because we talk to people and you watch this and it's raw and unfiltered. And have a great one. Tune in to No Man's Profits because we're going to MSC next. Bye.